We begin our newscast with the latest developments on the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS outbreak here in Korea. Today, five new MERS cases have been confirmed, bringing the total to 30, three zero. Among the new cases, one tertiary infection was confirmed in a patient who shared a hospital room with a patient previously diagnosed with the virus. For more, we connect with our Connie Kim at the News Centre. Connie. Well, Mark, no MERS deaths were reported overnight, but public fear and anxiety about the virus is growing with an additional tertiary infection confirmed. Korea's health ministry said four of the five people newly diagnosed with the viral disease stayed in the same hospital ward as the first patient. Now, one tertiary infection was confirmed in a 60-year-old patient who shared the same hospital room with a patient who was diagnosed earlier. Now, this is the third tertiary infection among the confirmed 30 cases and reportedly the first in the world. Korea's health ministry had previously said no tertiary transmissions of MERS had been reported worldwide, which is why only people who came in contact with the first patient were isolated. But after the cases of tertiary transmission were confirmed, the government began isolating people who had contact with anyone infected with the virus. Now, three patients are reported to be in critical condition. Three other confirmed MERS patients are set to be released from the hospital. And 398 are suspected to have contracted the disease. Now, currently 1,312 people who had contact with MERS patients are isolated in their homes or in quarantine facilities to prevent the disease from spreading. And this number, Mark, is expected to grow. Well, let's hope that those people listen to the authorities and stay home or stay in their hospital rooms. And Connie, how are the health officials viewing today's confirmation of another tertiary infection? Well, Mark, health officials say there will, be not, there will not be indiscriminate tertiary transmission of the virus because all tertiary infections have come from the hospitals where patients infected with the virus are being treated. Now, take a listen to what one expert had to say. Hospitals that are treating MERS patients prevent other people from entering those wards. Places other than these hospitals are virus-free. Um, our Kim said, however, people should refrain from visiting someone who was diagnosed with MERS even if they are in recovery. President Park will preside over an emergency meeting this afternoon where containment measures will be discussed. And another issue they're likely to discuss is what happens if more MERS cases are confirmed because there is currently a lack of facilities where people newly infected with the virus can be treated. At the 17 designated hospitals allowed to treat MERS patients, there are special containment wards capable of blocking the virus spread, but these wards have a total of just 105 beds. And meanwhile, as a preventive measure, Korea is planning to temporarily close more than 200 schools. Officials say it's highly unlikely that young people will contract the virus if they avoid going near the hospital and wash their hands frequently. Also, everyone currently under quarantine is banned from traveling abroad until they're cleared of the infection. And with health experts under fire for a lax and tardy initial response to the outbreak, this week will be critical because a 14-day incubation period after the first person contracted the virus is now up. So we'll have to continue to monitor the, the disease's progress here in Korea. There is currently no vaccine or treatment for the disease. Back to you.